Well, hello there. For those who don't know me, I am Judy, known as Judy Elf today, because today I've been packing up lots of gifts to take out into our community. But I was asked to share what does Christmas mean to me? And any time I'm asked that question, I think back to an experience I had probably about 20 years ago when I was a teacher in an infant classroom. I had primary two, and it was Christmas time, and we just had the best Christmas party ever. And at the end of the party, we heard those jingle jangle bells and Santa Claus came. And the awe and the wonder that the ch children felt was amazing. All the children went home and I was tidying up the last minute mess with all the steamers and things that were there. And I heard that jingle jangle again behind the Christmas tree. And I looked up and there was Santa Claus. But he wasn't happy. He had tears in his eyes. And he looked at me and he said, Judy. And I said, Santa, have all you've come back? What are you here for? He said, I've come back with a message for you. You have to teach the children the real meaning of Christmas. And I said, what, what do you mean, Santa? We, we've been doing that. He said, it's not about me. And I'm going to tell you how you can remind the children of the true meaning. And the first thing he did was he pointed to the fir tree. He said, we put up these beautiful fir trees every year. He said, and the fir trees are green all year round to remind us of the everlasting hope of mankind. And if you look closely, the needles all point upwards towards heaven to remind us that our prayers will always reach God wherever we are. And then he pointed to the star. And he said, Judy, that star is a promise that the Saviour will come. And that promise was fulfilled and God's son was born and we know the wise men followed the star and wise men today still follow the star, the sun. And then there was the lights and the candles in the tree and he said that's a reminder that Jesus is the light of the world and he can overcome any kind of darkness. And then he pointed to the wreath and I said Santa what does the wreath represent? I see them on people's doors. He said, the wreath represents the everlasting nature of God's love. It never stops. It never ceases. Love can never stop. God's love is amazing. And then he said, then there's me. You see me all the time, even on a lolly. He said, but I just symbolise the generosity of God, the generosity and goodwill of other people at this time, which shows us as a reminder of the gift of Jesus Christ that's been given. And then on the tree, there was a candy cane. And I said, what does that mean? He said, that represents the shepherd's crook and a reminder that God will never let you be lost. He'll always come and find you like the shepherd does with his lambs. And then he pointed to the angel. He said, the angel shouted out and declared the good news. And we should be reminded that at this time, we should be declaring the good news of Jesus. And then there was the gifts at the bottom of the tree. And he said, the gifts represent the best gift of all. And I've said it already, the gift of Jesus Christ. And the wise men took gifts to represent the most wonderful gift that's given. And as he finished, he said, Judy, thank you for listening. He said, I feel pleased. Don't put me at the center. I'm just his servant. I'm just here to symbolise that love and that hope and that everlasting love that will never be forgotten. So as you put up your Christmas tree, as you prepare your gifts, as Santa Claus comes to the young children, always remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. That's what Christmas means to me. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.